Yep, that's a fish. Oh, I reeled him all the way up to the tip. Didn't mean to do that. Oh my goodness. Dad gummit. So let's talk about hook quality. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, look, look. I'm just trying to use Walmart stuff. What is going on, everybody? Just did a, just did a flare entrance there. Today, we are gonna be bassing on a budget at Walmart. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna go get a little kit that I wanna fish with. Um, I saw the kit like a week ago and I was like, man, I would really wanna fish with that kit, uh, see what we can do with it. Um, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna purchase the kit. I've gotta pick up a couple other little things. Pregnant wife's got cravings. And uh, we're gonna head over to the, probably the pond. I think that's where we're going today is we're gonna go to the pond. So uh, let's go on, go in Walmart, get this kit that I'm talking about. I'll show you guys. And uh, then we're gonna go and freaking slay because I really like the look of this kit. Again, fasten on a budget. It's the whole purpose. Purpose, 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 purpose. So this is uh, to show you guys what you can get for your money. Let's go. outdoor section so we're actually entering sort of from the other side we're on the fishing aisle and uh, I'm gonna show you all these kits well number one we got some like clearance zoom some clearance yum stuff we got a lizard kit right here um, we've got this is just a bass kit it looks like a finesse worm pack that doesn't look too bad but that's really not what I'm here for I'm actually here for this curl tail kit Ooh, or the ringworm kit looks pretty good. I was here for the curl tail kit, but we've kind of already fished with those at the pond since I know I'm going to the pond. The ringworm kit, these worms are a little bit fatter, a little bit shorter. I think this is what we're going to go with, and that is, what, 436 That's pretty cheap. Um, you've also got these crazy neon floating worm colors. We probably need to do a video on floating worms. That's pretty cool, and it comes with some hooks. That's 456 This is what we're going to go with today. We've got tons of little kits here at Walmart, though. A spinnerbait kit. I don't know how good those spinnerbaits are here. Here's actually a spinnerbait kit with trailers. It's like a spinnerbait kit with some trailers there. We might have to try that one day. We've also got a buzzbait kit with trailers. That's pretty neat. So yeah, Walmart's got us hooked up. We're gonna try the ring worm kit. Um, and we're gonna see if we can catch them. It's got, it's got our weights, it's got our hooks. Now those are some pretty heavy weights. I may change those out just straight up. Uh, but for like four and a half bucks, not too bad. I also need to get a couple other things for another video, but we'll go over that here in another video. Let's purchase this and let's uh, get out to the pond. Let's go. All right, so as you can see, we're at the pond today. Um, we've got our little Walmart lure kit over there in a bag. I'm gonna go ahead and unload the kayak, get that in the water, and uh, we'll go ahead and get rigged up. It should be a good day. It's nice and hot at the moment. It really is gonna be an awesome day. We're gonna shoot several videos today because as y'all know, I got a kid on the way. So I've got to stockpile these videos a little bit. Uh, so you may see me in the next couple videos at the pond in these same clothes. Just throwing it out there. That's what we're doing. We're gonna do a little bit of a variety. Um, hopefully the fish will cooperate and uh, we'll get on the water. Maybe show y'all a couple new little techniques. All right, folks. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff ready. Extra batteries, memory cards. And let's talk about this bait pack that we've got. It is a... 43 piece ringworm kit. Let's open this thing up. Yeah, it is. Now let's see what consistency we got here. These are actually really, really flexible. I wish the tails were a bit more flexible, but it's just a nice little curl tail. Um, I think that'll have some pretty good action in the water. It does come with a couple hooks and some uh, weights there. Oh, those are long. All right, that could be a little bit of a challenge. Here's the deal with these type of baits the anything with like curl tail a nice long curl tail like this i personally like throwing it on really really light weight um, these are full lead weights and they look pretty heavy so this is going to be where y'all probably roast me a little bit in the comments um, because i'm going to use the hooks it came with even though i think these are those might bend out pretty easy but i don't really like these weights i think they're too heavy and plus, they're not actually very good looking weights, to be honest with you. So we're going to scrap those. I'm going to go with a tungsten weight. I like going with either a 1 16th ounce weight or an 8th ounce weight. Just because it gives that 
bait time as it falls to have the flutter of the tail. It doesn't go immediately to the bottom and just hug the bottom. And those bass usually will react to it because they see that tail. It gives them time to see it. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to go with an eighth. All right, we're going to rig this thing up. We're going to take off my current Texas rig. I'm actually going to leave that peg on there. I want to keep it pegged. Y'all can have at having fun of me for my little pink Berkeley fingernail clippers. My sister gave it to me. She ordered one for herself because she does a little bit of fishing or used to. And they sent her a whole freaking case. And I'm like, I mean, waste not, won't not. You know what I mean? It's just pink. There's nothing to be scared of. It's just a color, folks. I'm in the boat. We got our Gatorade, fish grips. I think we got everything to take on this challenge. Well, we've got everything except in the water. There we go. All right, so a couple things that you need to know. If you're new to this channel, this is the Mega Bass Factory. Um, we have worked about a year now um, getting it back in good shape. All it had was extremely small 10-inch uh, fish in it that we could see. Apparently there were one or at least one big one that we know of because it died um, and was eaten by turtles. So we have been stocking like crazy, bringing in fish from other places to go ahead and inject a bigger strain of fish in here just for those ones that are stunted. But more importantly, we've been tagging fish. So we've got a tagging gun where we'll place a tag number in fish and we've been logging their growth. So that's why we've got the, the, uh, the measuring stick. We've also got a scale in the boat um, just so if I catch a tagged fish, we can track it. Um, and this fall, we're gonna be taking a bunch of fish out based on our findings. So again, if you've noticed anything from this channel, it's very sciencey. We try to interject the science and logic behind stuff, not just tell you, hey, this is what we're doing and this is how you should do it. We're trying to tell you why you wanna do stuff in certain ways. Um, from a scientific approach, or at least that's my goal. Because if you can understand why you need to be doing something, you can apply that to other things. That's just my opinion. But instead of just because, you need to do this because. You need to fish black and blue and stained water because. If you know why you need to do that kind of stuff, it'll help you out in the long run. So let's start off with a dark color and see if we can't get bit. Um, I actually really want to use this purple with a blue tail. Purple with a blue tail see how it works we've also got a green with a yellow tail we're going to try to catch one on each of these baits um, and then we can uh, call this mission accomplished all right so it's a little ringworm we just texas rigged it i've got it pegged i don't really want that peg moving too too much um, just keeping it right there we're going to see if we can't get us a fish eighth ounce weight texas rig right now we're going with purple and blue on this little ringworm. So let's start it out here. Oh, that's a fish. Yep, yeah, that's a fish. Oh, I reeled him all the way up to the tip. Didn't mean to do that. Buddy, you hit it right at the boat. Let me, let me let some line out. Let me let some line out. Hold on, bud. Speaking of tagged fish, I know, buddy. You are a tagged fish. Yes, sir, you are. That's a pretty decent little fish. He is getting thin, getting a real thin belly. Buddy, we've given you so much food. Why are you so thin? So, since it's a tagged fish, we're gonna go ahead and get a measurement on him. I'm gonna call out his number, 1030. He is going to be exactly 15 inches. Fish number 1030, you weigh one pound nine ounces i can live with that hopefully you're getting bigger we'll have to look it up but you look a little a little skinny that's normal for summer fish to lose weight they actually are their fattest going into spring um just coming out of winter winter time is when they really really fatten up and hug the bottom and they're just they're just grubbing out you know you're actually pretty chunky on your back of your tail your belly just looks a little spawned out um but i mean you may just not have fattened up but there you go one pound nine ounces fish number 1030 15 inches so we're gonna let you go thank you for checking off our blue and purple our purple and blue tail worm check that worm off the list all right so i think we'll go with the all black looks like it's got a little bit of blue or red not blue red flakes it's black with red flake they kind of went very sparing on the red flake but there is some red flake in there um, and let's see if we can get on another 
bass. All right, so he was hanging right on this this uh, limb that's in the water. We got a lot of limbs in the water on the back side of the pond. The front side's pretty bare. Um, if you want to go back to around Christmas time of 2018, uh, me and Chris built some bass structure and sunk it on the front part. But we need to do a lot more of that um, come this fall when it cools down and when I can't travel as far with the baby. Um, we'll need to do some work at the pond. So everybody hang in there. There's gonna be a lot more pond videos as we uh, work through all the details of, you know, how I'm gonna handle this transition into fatherhood and still be a YouTuber. Ah, I thought I had one. I think a fish had that on the fall. I just yanked it out of his mouth. He must have been a little guy. Oh, he hit it on the fall. There's there's fish on the end of this. this uh, he hit the tail. All right, I'm changing the rules of this challenge a little bit on the fly. I'm going to use four of the eight different styles of baits in there, or eight different colors of baits, I should say, not styles. They're all kind of the same style. Um, catch four fish on them, that's, that's the goal. Once that's done, uh, we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna ship whatever is left in that box, hooks, weights, I may even throw a couple weights in myself, um, some tungsten weights that I'm using, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So this is actually gonna be a giveaway. If you've made it this far in the video, good on you, and this is what you get rewarded for for making it this far, we're gonna ship that to anyone that is subscribed, liked the video, and left a comment um, on how you thought the challenge went, and if I should do more of challenges like this, where I go to Walmart or Academy, and I find a kit or some random looking bait and see if I can catch fish on it. Um, but we've got some clouds moving in, it looks like, that don't necessarily look like I want to be out on the water when they get here. So we're gonna change it to four. We've been bit on this several times, so I feel like we're about to mark this color off our list. And um, yeah, then I'll have two more, I'll be halfway done. And uh, we've already found some spots where there's fish, so I have a really good feeling about it. Oh my goodness! Dad gummit! I even saw him. I even saw him flash at me. I mean, these must be little guys. I'm not sure if it's the hook or what, but this has happened several times now. No, it's definitely the hook. So let's talk about hook quality. Let's look at this hook. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I mean, look, at look. Let's put it against my fingernail. The thing is bent. It's not sharp anymore. It is bent to the side. All right, that's gonna help. I just bent it back. Again, I'm just trying to use Walmart stuff. Wow. I wish I would have noticed that earlier. That's probably why we've been losing fish on this bait because uh, this bait's been getting bitten a lot. That really stinks. We could have probably been done with the challenge by now if that was, I would have noticed that earlier. Nice fish. Got you. Yeah, I got you that time. Yeah, you're gonna be a little bit gut hooked because I didn't notice my line was running. Hold on, hold on partner, hold on. All right, got you free there, homeboy. All right, so we got that one on that black and red. Um, I really believe the hook was uh, what was doing it because the minute we changed the tip of the hook, straightened it back out, bang, we got one in like just a few minutes. So his one's pretty healthy. He's a little chunky. Um, let's get a measurement on you. I wish I had my tagger because you're bigger than what we normally get out here, which is 10 inches, 10 ounces. You're getting 11 and a half inches. And I bet you were a 10 inch, 10 ounce fish a year ago. We got more fish popping. We need to get back in the water. They're starting to get a little fired up because it's starting to get overcast. And uh, I'm gonna guess you're about almost a pound. You're getting to about three quarters. So fish are getting bigger in here, uh, which is exactly what we want. Thanks for playing, bud. I appreciate you. This is a little bit more natural. It looks kinda, I mean, it's green with a chartreuse tail. Um, the chartreuse tail I could do without because Chris and I both have found chartreuse tails just to track bluegills. Um, but in a little bit of stained water, I 
think we'll be okay. Oh, that's fish. Oh, he got off. Oh, he came back for it. There we go, we stuck him that time. He came back for it, that was crazy. That was crazy, dude. You bit it, came off, and then you came back and just stoomf. That right there is awesome. Let's get a measurement on you. I'm not gonna get a weight, but I just wanna get a measurement on you. Cause I mean, I'm telling you guys, they're starting to look bigger. Um, you are a full 12. Um, these fish a year ago were all 10 inches, 10 ounces, and they're starting to get bigger. Um, I really think we're on the right track with this place. All right, so this green is done, black is done, purple and blue is done. And now the big question is, for the finale, what do we do? Let's look at our options here. So I've done these two. This is the one I'm kind of scared of. This, this pink, purple with blue and like a chartreuse, like not even a chartreuse, excuse me. It's like a purplish um, with a white, some kind of pearl purple tail. I've also got a black and blue ribbon tail. This one looks interesting. It's like a, just like a regular blue and black. If we had that in red, which we do, this is the one we're going with, red and black. I think that's gonna work with the watercolor. We're staying away from these blues and this light color just because of the day. And uh, this ought to do it. All right, guys, final one. And we're gonna call this challenge done. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's get bit. We struggled so much. We should have been done with this challenge a long time ago. I probably would have done more baits too if I hadn't have noticed that the, uh, if I would have noticed earlier that the hook wasn't, wasn't work, cooperating with me because um, we lost several fish. I mean, several fish on the uh, get-go with that black worm with red flake. So uh, these limbs right here in the water, because they're on it, they're on these limbs. Oh, he's wrapped up. Come on, get out of there. Oh, I think he got off. Dang it. No, he's still on. He's just caught in the limbs. Oh, we're in a tough spot. Oh, he got off. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset the swarm. We're going to pitch back in there because uh, he might still, that one may not want to munch because he was hooked. Um, I'm surprised after he got off the first time he even came back for it. Uh, but it very well could have been another fish. I mean, I know they're stacked up on this thing, so. Yep, got another one. Bang! Yeah, bud. Yes, yeah, sir, sure, buddy. You're just a little fella. Little skinny, skinny fella. Um, all right, we're gonna let this one go. That's gonna do it for uh, the uh, the worms here. So that's it's pretty awesome. Uh, once we got the hook fixed, I mean, we started killing them with it, and I really wish I had more time, and the weather was uh, looking a little bit better because we would keep going. All right, everybody. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Us using the, it's actually what what name is this? Luck Strike Ringworm Kit is the name of it came with those hooks that I'm again not a fan of a couple bullet shot weights uh, pure lead weights we've got eight different colors I have a film we could have caught them on every single one of them that's actually a really good pack of worms it held together really really well um, I didn't have to get rid of them after every bite I feel like I could have gotten two or three fish in the boat um, on each of those worms so for like four dollars and I think it was 36 cents that is pretty freaking good now, for those of y'all that have made it all the way to the end of the video, y'all are the true BFFs, the bee fishing family. Y'all stuck around till the end, so here's what I'm gonna do. On these challenges, like when I did the challenge not too long ago where I took out the uh, pocket fisherman, I'm gonna give the stuff away. So those pack of worms, I tried not to use very many of them. I think I only went through two of those black and reds. Um, and one of the hooks, I'm not gonna send y'all that hook because that hook was garbage. I'm actually gonna throw in some hooks that I use on worms and I'm gonna throw in some tungsten weights as well. So all you gotta do is comment below, like the video and be subscribed to Be Fishing, um, which I'm sure if y'all made it this far, you are. So 
yeah, yeah I'm gonna ship you those pack of worms um, so you can go out and slay yourself. And what I wanna reiterate with these worms and the reason they work so well and the reason it intrigued me is we all know a ribbon tail worm works, but why does it work? Did you notice where I was fishing most of the time? I was fishing on the structure. What those fish are actually doing is they're suspending on that structure. So I knew they were gonna be suspending on those trees, those down limbs. So what I was doing is I was throwing that worm in there and I had a really, really light weight. Remember when I told you in the first of the video, or the first of the video, you gotta use a light weight so that, that slow sink on that worm and that tail will just flutter all the way down. And the bass cannot resist it. Um, every one of them was either when I was reeling it up the first fish, I was reeling the bait up and you saw that curl tail coming up the top of the water and the, guy, the, the bass hit it. The others were on the fall. It was when it was either I'd bump it off some structure and go down the, like up on a limb and fall down. They were biting it on that fall or in the initial cast. And I was making those long up and down motions with the rod to create an up flutter, up flutter on that, on that worm. So if you don't win and you wanna go get a pack of those or some worms similar to it, like the Zoom Curl Tail or the Zoom U Tail, uh, which I like fishing a lot. That's how you fish those. I really like the Curl Tail. When you're making that tail, just sit there and spin. The bass go nuts for it. It's a really, really good technique to flip structure with a worm. That's what we were doing today. Again, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, and if you're subscribed, I will give those away. Anyway, if you like the challenges, let me know in the comments. We'll do some more challenges, um, whether it be Academy, Walmart. I know a lot of other YouTubers do this kind of stuff, um, and I'm not trying to copy any of them, but at the same time, it's to bass on a budget. Um, I'm trying to take a different approach and show you how to fish those things, not just, look, we caught fish on them. Great. No, you need to know how to fish those, those kits and what they're used for. And anything with a tail like that, that's what you're going to use it for. You're going to get that flutter of the tail going, and you're going to hook some bass. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one. Later! Thank you